right guys welcome to the channel today is delivery day it's august 1st 2022 and we're picking up the tesla model y we're just driving to the uh, delivery center the dealership right now we have a two o'clock appointment it's 40 minutes until then it should only be about 25 minutes to get there but we're taking the model s down so we can supercharge while we're there because there is a supercharger and we've actually got a a whole checklist here it's four pages long I'll, I'll leave a link to this there's a lot of great checklists online to go through your your uh, tesla delivery experience and it seems odd that you that you have to do that but really you want to catch anything that uh, you know any flaws any imperfections in the car something that's not working you want to note that before you officially take delivery of the car so that that's noted and it's going to be you know quickly and promptly uh you know corrected for you so I, if you saw the last video, two days ago I was at the delivery center. I was kind of there after hours, and I was able to uh, kind of get a sneak peek of the car. The car looked good on the outside. I didn't, I didn't, nothing stood out to me, and I'm not expecting there to be uh, you know, any, any kind of problems. But, for example, I've seen some videos where someone went, you know, like the, 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 the electric seats, the fold-down seats are not working, or a, a window switch is not connected or something. So there might be something like that, which... It's not that big of a deal because those kind of things are under warranty anyways and so uh, but really it's the things that are you're responsible for after you take delivery like a lot of the paint if there's any paint issues or scratches dings dents curb rash on the wheels you know just stuff like that that uh, you would be held responsible for after right after you take delivery so uh, I'm gonna go through that checklist while we're there uh, the things that I've had to do up until this point you know once I got the VIN number um, it had me upload my insurance, so I had to co contact my insurance agent. I had to get the car added to my to my in, uh, insurance, and I was actually surprised to see that it was only it's only about a sixty three dollar a month uh, charge for my insurance. So uh, it's not that it's not that you know it's not super expensive on on insurance. I have my rates are pretty good. I mean that's full coverage. That's with thousand dollar deductibles on comprehensive and collision. Uh, and I added the I added it to the insurance. I had to get the uh, the payment ready. We're actually financing it, um, so I had to get the the bank had to get the motor vehicle purchase agreement. So the the agreement that shows like the price and the VIN and everything on that. You get that. To, I got that to my my credit union, and then and then we got the, uh, the the check from them. So we're just I'm just taking them a check. You can pay if you're putting money down, which we were. They want us to pay Tesla directly that money, and then the bank would cut them the check for the remainder. And so I just, I just, I didn't do that. I just said, okay, I just want to check for the entire amount, and I'll pay the bank my down payment. So that they said that's an acceptable way to do that. So I didn't do any kind of electronic payment in my state. They said in Utah you can take them a cashier's check. So I'm just taking them a cashier's check check from my bank, which. It seems like that's kind of an easier. I don't know if that's an easier way, but it just seems like an, a way to ensure that you're they're getting the uh, the payment. You don't have to worry about if it went through electronically and so forth. But um, so that was kind of the steps that I've gone through thus far. And then I think when we get to the the service center, when we get to the service center, they'll probably will probably uh, rev review maybe sign. There's probably something we'll sign like the the, the purchase agreement. And then uh, accept the delivery. So it shouldn't be very long. It shouldn't take very long. Uh, it is nice that we have an appointment. We know exactly, like, you know, our car is set up for that time. It should be ready to go. And um, I've heard that it's a pretty smooth, smooth delivery experience. So I guess we'll see. And just pulling into the Tesla delivery center here. Might be ours in front there. Hopefully, I got a. Hopefully, we got a full battery. So this is the Salt Lake City Delivery Center, and it's got superchargers here as well. When I was here a couple days ago. There was a there was a ton of new cars waiting to be delivered. I wonder how many they do a day here. I bet it's quite a few. There, I think that's ours. Yeah, ours was the only black on black one when I was here. Black wheels, black interior, black wheel, or black uh, paint was the only one. That's a performance. Want to see those bigger wheels? Those have a little bit bigger wheels. Performance. All right, but that's us right in front there. Let's back up to the supercharger here, and we'll uh, get a charge while we're here. All right. All right. All right, guys. Here it is. Let's see if it's 80. Yeah, 8518 is the VIN number. 
All right, we're gonna go inside, see what uh, process we need to do. All right, we were inside for like three minutes. Signed a couple things, they gave us the key. We haven't paid for it yet because they said we can go through it to go through any kind of issues, problems. So we're gonna give it a kind of a once over and just, you gotta do the key. So let's see the key, you've gotta hold up to. All right, let's do our inspection here. Going over the paint, want to make sure there's no paint defects, issues. That right there is just a little, uh, it's a little wheel dressing on there. It's a little tire here. No, that's just a little sticker. You seen any? See any paint issues? Looks pretty good, huh? All right, inside, we got our license plate holder, we've got our charger, that's all good. Okay. Charge port opens. Charge port opens. What else did it say to check? The front. Oh, all front, front. Yeah, you gotta push the word open, not the uh, actual trunk. How's that look? Good. But I think they just want to make sure it opens, right? That's yeah. The, that's this one. That's this part. Okay. All door handles sit flush and correct. Yeah. Good. Good. Closing doors, no rattling when closing doors. Go right. windows down and check for rattle. Okay. Roll them down, roll down the windows, check for rattles. Okay, okay. All the doors closed good, so. Let's check the operation of the windows. One touch down, driver's side, one touch passenger. Rears, all go down. Okay. Door trim sketches, dead alignment. See if there's any uh, see if there's any rattles. Can you open that door? Mm -hmm. Smooth. Good. Okay, let, me, the... let me check the back doors. come down this far but there no 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 rattles there just want to make sure the doors okay vents are working back here okay door trim scratches dents alignments door trims yeah door trim looks good alignment looks good there on the windows this is a source of leaks here around these door door seals you want to make sure that window's sitting Nice and flush there, it looks good. How about over here? There's a scratch on the door. Where's that? Okay. Yeah, well, yep, there's a scratch right there. <laughs> Hazards are good. Windshield cracks, alignment's all good on the panels. The glass up here, no cracks, right? Oh, that's a big, yeah, that's that's a big, yeah, it's a big, big screen, a big win, window up top. Yeah, there's um, no cracks. Make sure that the charge port opens with the touch screen and with the app, it says. Okay. Well, oh, I can't, I can't do the app right now. I haven't taken no. delivery of it. Let's just... Yeah, that worked. Okay. Yeah, the door trim, weather stripping all looks good right there. Okay. All seats are defect free. Tear, scratching, bunched, folded, stained, scratched, smudges. Yeah, let's check the seats. I didn't notice anything. This kind of comes down, huh? Yeah, I okay, that folds down. Don't these fold down too? Yeah, let's um. Oh, they shift forward and then lift up. Yeah, let me move this. Check in the. Yeah, yours must, you might have done that. My, this one was just... Here, that's the second row, huh? Let's check these. Man, those are hard. Yeah, those all look good. Okay, the seats all are good. Dash is good. 
touch screen. All swiping and touch activation is working for each and every option. Open up. Oh, center console open up. Looks good. I don't have a charger cord with me to check, like, get one. We have, since we have 24 hours to report the thing. Oh, okay. That's what she said. Oh, okay. Yeah. So if we get driving. That's good, yeah. Steering wheels, telescope in and out, up and down, stains, scratches, smudges. Is that all we need to check? Open and close. To make sure it's aligned. Just aligned. Okay. Emergency release. Verify the two front emergency release handles are working correctly. All right, guys. We did a thorough th uh, walk through the car, and their only issue was those little scratches on the passenger door. Those aren't really that big of a deal, but we'll report those. We also need to ask about the front trunk mat. I don't know. Some of the this checklist says to look at the front trunk mat. So what's that? We'll ask about guys, that. So we just accepted delivery. And everything was good. Looks like they got those. Uh, they just came back with this. They took it for like five minutes. And those scratches are all gone. Come right out. Okay, looks good. They hand the check. It was pretty easy, huh? Yeah, great. A lot better than our other car buying Yeah, it's pretty easy. Car uh, Just get, waiting a year to get the car is the, pro the problem. All right, look good. All righty, we're, we're in the new Model Y. It's a pretty exciting day, guys. Waited a while for this, so we're gonna go for our first drive. All right, guys, it's the first mile here in the Model Y. This is super exciting. The car is awesome. Like, we didn't have any issues. Everything worked in it. The only those little scratches, they, they buffed those out, which was, uh, which was super easy. It took them like two minutes to do that. And the delivery process was super easy, too. We walked in, there's just, there just a person that sitting there like hey sit down sign a few things go look at the car and then you hand them the check and it's it's done so as far as like the buying process it like totally beats any other car buying experience which is awesome but um it's just the way the wait you know the 11 month wait that we waited kind of was a kind of was a joke but glad we super glad we got it the car drives awesome i mean it's a uh, it's just a great driving experience. This doesn't have the air suspension, you know, it just has coil over uh, suspension, but I think I feel it handles great, rides good. The field of view out of this, this isn't, uh, you know, it is a little different than like the Model Model X that has the big panoramic windshield, but it still has a really, it has, it still has a really nice view out the windshield. So it's, uh, it's you can really get the seating position exactly where you need it. Uh, uh, so really happy with this thing so far. Super happy with the, um, the the fit and finish. There was no issues with the gaps, the panels, defects in the seats. Everything was everything was really good. So um, pretty happy in the, in that regard. I think Tesla's up in their game as far as quality control. I mean, I, I shouldn't have to be the one that goes through all this checklist. I mean, either at the factory or the delivery center, they should be doing that. And, and they probably do to some degree. But uh, generally, when you buy a new car, you're not you know you don't have to do a checklist to make sure everything's good usually that's already been done but um that's that's the only strange thing i think when it comes to buying a tesla versus other cars is you just have to go through kind of a, a checklist procedure uh the so i'm in utah the salt lake city delivery center and service center are right next to each other we actually just stopped by the service center because my model s has an appointment for tomorrow and we just left it there and um a day early so they get to it but it's just, it's so crowded right now. I did hear that they are building a new one probably 30, 40 miles south. So we'll have two in the state. But, you know, there's just, that's kind of the, um, kind of the bottleneck. Once you have your car is just the service. You know, if you need service, take it into the service center. If you're not close, it's just, and if it's critical, you're not, get, you can't get appointment that, that soon. I set this appointment three weeks ago for my for my Model S, uh, which is tomorrow. But 
Um, I hope I don't have to use, really use this service much. These cars don't require, you know, as far as maintenance is concerned, really no maintenance, but it's really just if there's issues, something breaks, the window regulator, the screen goes out. I mean, there's going to be there's going to be things. I mean, this is like a big driving iPad, and so it needs to, uh, there's a lot of technology, and, and occasionally that goes out, but it does have a good warranty with it. And um, that stupid guy, the guy just turned his windshield wipers on in front of me, windshield washer, and sprayed on my car. <laughs> Guys, but so stay tuned to the channel. So we're going to be doing, I got a bunch of accessories. We're going to put in the car. We're going to try them out. We're going to go through. The one thing that I'm kind of excited about, but also kind of nervous is I bought a full paint protection kit for the whole car. So the front bumper, the hood, the doors, the rear. So the whole thing's almost going to be have the uh, PPF paint protection film on it, the clear protection film. I'm going to DIY that. So we're going to see how that goes. I found that whole kit on eBay. I bought it like five months ago thinking I was going to get the car and I just figured I just going to get it so I have it and uh, I'm glad that I did but um, I'm going to see how that goes. I've watched a couple videos on that. We're going to get all of our other accessories installed and we're going to do some more driving videos but anyways guys we got the car the wait is over no issues delivery delivery process was very smooth very seamless so I'm very happy with that uh, kind of is a kind of a happy ending to a long waiting process so anyways guys hit that thumbs up button subscribe to the channel uh, stay tuned for more videos on this car. We're doing a ton more videos on this car, so stay tuned, and we'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.